Hi there everyone and welcome to Monday. Another week begins. To all 709 family members, I hope that you have an amazing week. Thank you so much for being here. Makes everything worthwhile. Thank you for all the comments. I will answer every one of them. Have, as I say, a great week. Right, another taste test now. And another pizza. I was in Iceland yesterday for my sins and I saw this Louis Capaldi's pizza devilishly good in 12 minutes the big sexy cheesy one was five pounds now two pound fifty so Louis Capaldi I believe he's a singer, is he? I'm not really sure. I'm not up to date with all the new stuff. So this is Louis Capaldi's The Big Sexy Cheesy One. Pizza with mozzarella cheese, Irish Ballycashel cheese, Monterey Jack cheese, provolone cheese and pecorino cheese. For best results, remove pizza from freezer 15 minutes before cooking, and then cook for 12 to 14 minutes in the oven. So we've got wheat flour, tomato puree, water, mozzarella cheese, Irish Ballycashel cheese, Monterey Jack cheese, provolone cheese, Durham wheat, semolina, pecorino cheese, heart cheese, which is from sheep's milk, olive oil, dextrose, Salt, yeast, sugar, starch, garlic and herbs. It's 450 grams. And this product may also contain celery. Your allergy warnings are for wheat and milk and obviously celery. And there's your nutritional information should you wish to stop the video and take a look. So, and there it is after being in the oven, folks. See what it looks like. It's like even. I've been asked by Reading University Rugby League to show them the base of pizzas. And that's what the base of this one looks like. And there is the, obviously the top. As you can see, it's very, very thin and it's very limp. So, let's give it a go. First impressions. Obviously it's very cheesy. It is also amazingly salty. Now, for those who know me, they know that I do like salt, but I think it could be just a bit too much on these. Try some of the base on its own. The base is what it is, I suppose. However, the base alone is quite tasteless.
But it is very, very salty. And if you can see there, the base is like tissue paper. It's so thin. It's hard to say because the salt is actually overpowering everything. Can't taste the garlic for sure. In fact, I've got to be honest and say that the uh, the cheese actually kills it. Not the cheese, sorry, the salt. There's a four or five different types of cheese on here and you can't really distinguish one from another. Um, they're not very good at all. Let's see what Layla thinks. Come on then. Come on then. Do you think, you see, Layla won't have it either. And I think that just about sums this pizza up. Louis Capaldi. Five pound originally. Um. Certainly not worth five pounds. I don't think it's even worth the two pound fifty it's been reduced to, if I'm honest. Um, very disappointed with this, and I think maybe I don't know four out of ten. Very very bad. The salt is just ridiculous. And as I say, beyond that, there's no real flavour at all. But there we go. We live and learn. Stick to singing, Lewis boy, if that is what you do. Right, folks. On that note, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please hit the like button. Leave a comment in the box below. I would be very interested to know if you've tried any of these Capaldi pizzas and what your thoughts on them are. Hit the bell icon for any future uploads. And above all, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please feel free to do so. It will cost you absolutely nothing. Help the channel grow and become part of a bigger community. Thank you all again for all the comments you send. I truly appreciate them as I appreciate each and every one of you. Take it easy everyone. Namaste. May your God go with you. Bye for now.